Hello dear viewers, uh, today I want us to learn a few uh, hacks, tips and tricks about PayPal. I want to talk about how you can be able to draw your money from PayPal after your PayPal has been permanently limited. And I also want to talk, uh, want to talk about uh, a few tricks on how you can avoid uh, your PayPal being banned or being permanently limited. And I also uh, want to tell you uh, uh, other things that I have learned about PayPal. Uh, and what is my qualification for creating this video? I have been a customer of PayPal for since uh, 2020. And I have made a lot of transaction from PayPal. And I can show you. And you can see, um, actually, I my first PayPal was, you know, blocked. And uh, I asked a friend of mine. Uh, to help me uh, to create a paper with a, to create his own paper and allow me to be drawing that paper, my money using his paper at a small fee you know I was paying him a small fee to be uh, to allow me to draw using this paper this paper is not mine because mine was limited and also this paper is also permanently limited if I can show you let's go to home so you can see here yeah, I was requesting to draw money Let's go to home. Uh, you can see in this paper, uh, this notification. If you see the red flag here, it means your paper is permanently limited. So see details. So this paper was permanently limited. So let me tell you why I'm qualified to create this video and why you should be careful and listen to what I'm trying to say. I've used, uh, this is my first uh, email, let me show you, this is my main email, Geoffrey Kimani, and uh, uh, if I can search paper, I have made a lot of transactions from paper, this, using this, uh, my first paper of mine, which was blocked, and uh, the main reason why I could argue they did that is because there was uh, a traffic, uh, there was, you know, um, a sudden change in the traffic of how my money was coming in suddenly I started to earn a lot of money and it was mainly from fever as you can see here my money is mainly from fever from fiber I was working on fiber and I've created a video on fiber you can see I drew plans house plan I do structural I do architectural plans and such stuff I do PowerPoint presentations so my money was mainly coming from fiber and you can see I've made a lot of transactions your fever withdrawal was successful. You can see all these are my transactions with paper. You can see. I can just uh, scroll, 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 scroll. All these are my transactions. Right? So I I used to, I opened this paper long, long ago. I think it was in, uh, it was in, in, in 2021. Right? You can see here. So, and this paper was banned so i asked my friend to because i think paper was very convenient for me because it was easy for me to withdraw and to receive money from my clients uh, of course a few clients send me money directly and uh, but just mainly it was fever so that one was permanently limited so I thought I could not survive without paper, so I opened it. I asked my friend to help me at a small charge, which of course I was paying him, but uh, unfortunately, I logged in using my phone. So the first thing, never log your PayPal account into another person's device, either it's a phone or laptop. What Fiverr do is that they, uh, they get the details of your IP address. I don't know if it is related to the internet you're using, but it is mainly, I know it is from this, my device you're using. If I log in your paper, I can tell you in my, in my device right now, in my browser, your paper will be limited immediately. You receive this message immediately. Okay? So never log in your paper into another person's device. The other thing is uh, I would advise you not to go for a business account because there are two types of, of paper. That is personal account. And the other one is business account. So I would rather go for a personal account because I have a friend of mine 
who are the paper it is personal uh he has his paper he has never had issue so pay with with business account paper are very uh, too strict all right so i would rather advise you to go for personal account instead of if if you are now if you're using just paper just for your personal transaction and maybe i think uh, the limitation for is that you cannot withdraw more than one thousand dollars and who makes such big transaction i don't think so because um it is very rare to make such big transactions so i think you should just go for uh, paper personal so for me my first was business account and i don't know why i decided to go for business account but i was naive because i didn't have any person or uh, anywhere i could get such advice such as i'm giving you right now so so you can see this one is a business account you, you can see too you can see here from here from my or from my emails so this is a business account my first people are a business account and also this friend of mine we open a business account of course i was giving him a little, a little something to because he allowed me to draw his account but again his account was uh, limited because i logged in in my device that's why his account was limited so uh, the thing is if people blocks you or ban you it is for good any uh, any bank that you have linked will cannot be used again to open any a new paper any number you have used is just for good forever you will never be able to use paypal again so that's why you should be very careful uh, the other thing uh, is how you can withdraw paypal from your you can withdraw money from your paper which has been permanently limited and i will show you uh, I was able to draw money from this uh, anyway, from this paper. Okay. I was able to draw money from this paper. And uh, it's because I talked to them through Twitter. So I went, uh, I've been logged out. I went and uh, to for in their Twitter handle, and uh, I told them their issue. I told them uh, I had some money, some about forty dollars, and uh, I was permanently limited because I logged in through my device. Although I just a friend of mine who helped me with paper to enable me to draw money because how can you do business if you cannot withdraw your money? So um, uh, I told them I had waited for we had waited for an eighty days. And uh, uh, still, I was not able to draw to access my money. So uh, they came back to me and uh, they told me how I was able, I could be able to draw my. And of course, I was able to draw the money. But in other instances, it can be very difficult for you to draw money from paper because you can decide to with withhold your money forever. So I think uh, uh, you should not, um, you should not communicate to them through the uh, uh, message center because probably I think you will be talking to bots or or, or uh, something like that it is mainly auto response so those are not people they will not feel your problem and you want to talk to people so that they can feel your problem and try to help you so I would rather go and talk them to them through their Twitter handle because they are will be communicating to uh, uh, people themselves, the people are in paper, and now they uh, obviously be able to assist you, and will be able to draw your money. But if you try to talk the, through the paper, through their message center, you're talking to, to robots which don't have feelings, don't have nothing, so just uh, auto response, auto response, and your money will be gone for good. So I think uh, those are the only. Uh, things I can talk about paper for me I cannot be able to use paper again and I'll not try because I don't want my money with hold especially uh, with current economy with you know um, you know uh, the oil prices rising you know inflation and everything uh, the economy is bad so you don't want anyone to withhold your money so I thanks guys uh, please um, subscribe to my channel if you like this video consider to subscribe to my channel for more uh, content and uh, see you in another video